Okay, is that ready? Yeah. Let's get him in front of this guy. Okay, this is uh, Robert Sleeves. Okay. Okay, all these guys come over here. This is uh, this is Robert Sleeves. What's your name? Okay, we got this huge crowd here in front of King's Gym. Okay, um, and this is Ishmael Reed. I'm a citizen journalist. This is going on YouTube. What's the, what's the issue? Uh, we're uh, been kicked out of our gyms. And from retaliation of the LBC not wanting us to expose the corruption that they have. And what is the corruption? Uh, what, what, what is the LC? What? The local boxing committee. Okay, local boxing o committee, Oakland. 38, Northern California. Northern California. These children will participate in the illegal fighting. Okay. And the, the, the private shows that take our children and that men are being paid handsomely to provide Latino and African American youth to fight in prestigious exclusive clubs. Their parents aren't allowed to go, their family members aren't allowed to go. They're taking these kids away from our community and they're fighting them for the ex exclusive rich community and they're being paid handsomely to do so. And our children are not pit bulls, they're not dogs, they're not roosters, they're human beings. But they're being allowed and supported and million dollars are being made off of our youth of our community. And how much money do kids make? Kids make nothing. The kids invest the time, they pay their dues to the gym. The same gym that abuses and retaliates against these kids are the one who gets their money and kicks their coaches out. We're non-profit. What we do, we do for the love of these children. And who's making the money? The, 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 the president, the local boxing commission, the, the various uh, uh, local boxing commission members, King's Gym, and the trainers who are, who are profiting from bringing their children and providing their children, their youth, to these shows and to these these, these evil evil men. Well, I'm sure there, there's some safety uh, precautions out there. Nope, yep. as long as they're doing illegal activity, our children are not safe. As long as our parents cannot be they with have, their They don't children, have any doctors at the main side? Or? They, they have doctors, but if, the, if it's corrupt, putting on a corrupt show, who's not corrupt and who is corrupt? I have youth who have been hurt because they were put in the ring, supposedly with other novices, and after my youth got out of the ring and was badly hurt, we come to find out that the local boxing commission put him in the ring with a national champion who's also a 2006 medalist in the police and fire games. And what about, there's been a death, one death? One death at, at, as, as a result of this illegal fighting on July 29, 2008 at 3rd Street Gym, San Francisco. But there's many more illegal shows going on and there will be more deaths and more people are being injured every day. So what's the difference between that, that and the program that you're running? We, we, every, every fight that we do with our youth is a sanctioned fight. And we want to ensure that when these youth fight, that they're not fighting somebody who's a national champion who's being put in there as a novice, falsely, falsely you know, identified as a novice like David Bermudez. He's, he's got, he's supposedly had three novice fights, but he's actually, in actuality, is a national champion. Paul Wade, owner of Third Street, they booked him as a novice, novice with no fights, but he has over 300 international fights, wins the Golden Gloves, knocks everybody out in our local boxing commission. Knocks everybody out. That means he hurts and bloodies up and injures people who believe that they were fighting another novice. No, no, they did no, not no, know no, they were no, fighting no, another. The people who are running this, they're, they're profiting. They're, they're, making they're making money, and they're not supposed to. In amateur boxing, you cannot make money. These people are providing children for the uh, private shows. They're being paid for it. The illegal shows. They're charging people at the door. They're making money. Where's the financial reports? Where's the money going? Because it isn't going to the kids. It isn't going to support helping them. Where is it going? What about gambling? Robert, you want to talk about the gambling that goes on? Yeah, you go to the uh, private shows, Olympics, uh, Olympic Club, University Club. They have these towels, red corner, blue corner. If they want to place a bet on the red corner, they throw up their towel. If they want the blue corner, somebody will throw up their towel. Somebody will come along and collect the bet. It's been going on for too many years, at least 20. These are kids that are making money years. off of I went to the show without even knowing what I was doing before I was a, 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 a involved in USA Boxing. Be brought there, I've been trained the youth. I trust, I put my trust in another trainer, Eloy Ramirez, a gladiator's boxing team in Redwood City. Eloy told me this was a fight for the kid that I was training. He took him in there, I showed up at fight time. 
much to my dismay, there's people throwing money down on my on my young man, betting on him, waving towels, and, and at the end offers him and me $500 because they, they won and they bet on him and won over $2,000. We didn't take the money because it's wrong, but other people have, and we know well, plenty well, of other So what would happen have. if these are white kids involved, you think? Is it mostly Hispanic and black kids? Or all, Asian, all, Asian American kids? It's black, Asian, Latin, who they're using. If there was a white guy in there, they would stop this a long time ago. This we would have never went this, on this far. This happens to everybody, but let's be honest. Boxing is historically a sport of the poor. It comes from the ghettos and the, the, the communities of disadvantaged. It's not exclusive to, 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 the, to, to them. Except but it is, is Right, the, the people come up from, and this is their way out. It doesn't mean they'll all be professional fighters or, 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 or world champions. It means that within boxing, they learn discipline, they, they, have, they have coaches they can trust, they have a way to, to become uh, mentored and, and advocated for, and they help them find a better life. How many minutes is that? About seven. Seven, okay. So let's get one of you guys. What about you? What does it say? And so, so what do you think about all this stuff? When I first met Robert Salinas, when first started training, he was... Robert Salinas? Yeah, Robert Salinas, he had a great coach, and he taught me a lot. He kept me out the streets. And um, when um, I found out that I couldn't go to the gym anymore, it hurt me. It hurt me. This is King's Gym. Why are they buying you guys? What, what do you, when did they buy you guys? When? Uh, recently? Recently. Mm -hmm. A few months ago, they tell us we couldn't go no more. And, you know, I've been struggling, so now I'm trying to find a gym to go to. But I'm my coach, so. And, uh, what about you? Uh, What's your name? Morning. Morning, come on. All right. So, so what do you think? What do you hope this this, this rally will accomplish? I hope we get a spot to train. You know, the one spot I've never experienced any kind of discrimination was in boxing. People were judged on their heart and what they did inside the gym. And myself, I've been involved in boxing for a long time, and I stay involved to keep myself in shape and to help the kids progress. Try to teach them what I've learned in, in my years on, on this earth. Okay. You want to wind up? So, so what do you think right. is going to happen here? What's, well, what's, what's the future? We're making a statement. What is we're, that right there? We're taking boxing back. This is proof. In 1997, King's Gym, Marcia King herself sued this local boxing commission. She sued this local boxing commission and its leadership for wrongdoing, for corruption, for embezzling money. She won the lawsuit. The LBC was found guilty and, in fact, the Superior Court Judge of San Francisco asked that Attorney General investigate and do an, an audit into where the money was going. That audit never happened. Why? Why, why did it never happen? We have proof that, uh, that uh, some of the officials in there are under the influence while, while refereeing, while in the ring, refereeing our children. It's in, our children's lives are in their hands and they're in there drunk, they're in there under drug use. We've got pre proof of that. We've got proof of the, the behavior that's supposed to take place, and we got proof of lies from our, our president. I got tapes here, illegal fights that are taking place in the Bay Area with participation from that local boxing commission, Robert Rodriguez, Robert Schneider, Jerry Maxwell, Brent Venegas, Candy Lopez, all on here. And these are the leaders that are making money off of these kids, and these are the leaders who are using it under non-profit guys. Non-profit to who? Not to us, it's a non-profit. To them, it's a big profit. Okay. And this is going to stop. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Dad, you want me